Hello there guys, it's Stephen here back with another video and today I'm going to talk about the news that apparently City have signed 17 year old Paris Saint-Germain wonder kid Claudio Gomez and I know what you're thinking, who, who the fuck is Claudio Gomez? I've never heard of him either, I don't profess to know much about him so today I've done a little bit of research, I'm going to try and run through what he could potentially bring to Manchester City it is all based off of YouTube and what I can find on Google, I'm not going to lie and all the clips that we're soon playing around, you can watch them instead of watching my face they're a bit blurry but you can try and get a kind of gauge on how we plays his football. Before I kick on too much, so I want to say thank you to Halver, Hanson, Hovrig and Rupinder Masson, who are my latest patrons. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate your support loads. Patreon.com forward slash esteemed company if you want to get involved. But anyway, as you can see from the clips playing around me now, this is our new 17-year-old uh, wonder kid. He's not joined officially yet. He'll be joining in the summer on a free transfer from Paris Saint-Germain, according to reports. Lots of very reliable French sources basically saying it's done. So I thought I'd try and work out who he is. And I've done a little bit of research and immediately off the bat, you can see that he seems, he's a number six. He seems to sit deep. He's not the biggest person in the world, but he looks very, very technically adept. Now, apparently, this is a bit of a coup. I've heard he's exceptionally highly rated. A lot of clubs wanted him. He's leaving Paris Saint-Germain because he doesn't believe in their succession plan. He doesn't believe he's got a future with them. He hasn't yet made his debut. It reminds me a little bit like what Sancho's done to us. We're, we're, he's doing a Sancho, and we're getting their most promising player from another big club. I find it slightly ironic that he's coming to Manchester City, given that we haven't really shown yet that we have a succession plan in place. There's been some promising signs this year with Foden and Brahim, but as you, many people know, I've always been a little bit critical of City's youth involvement. But if he comes to City and he gets involved, I'll be very happy about it, because he looks like a very, very talented footballer. Uh, Paris Saint-Germain aren't happy about this at all, from what I can gather. They've been having him with the first team since December now, and it's easy to see why when you look at these clips that are playing around me. Not only is he a very tenacious tackler, the, the obvious comparisons are Kante, given his size, uh, given his position, given his pace and his tenacity, but he's more than that. People were saying to me today online that he's got more than a little bit of variety about him too, which is exceptionally high praise. Variety, as we all know, is a wonderfully gifted, a wonderfully intelligent footballer. And there is bits of that to his game. You've seen some of the passes that he's making in this video playing now. He's very, very, very astute on the ball. He drives into space very cleverly. He's got a wonderfully weighted through ball. Uh, and he seems to be the complete midfield package, very much a Guardiola the kind of player and on the subject of Guardiola apparently it was Guardiola actually rang him directly he's been on the phone to Gomez himself according to the news reports convincing him that he'll be a Manchester City player that he should be a Manchester City player which does beg the question what is his future at Manchester City now surely there must be some reassurances there that he's not going to end up on this constant loan carousel but he is only 17 though he will be 18 come July so when preseason is back round he'll be 18 maybe he'll be that guy who's on the fringes of the squad like Bo than is but you have to think we are signing Fred and the rumors are pretty strong and it seems to be very advanced that means he's third in the pecking order behind Fred, Fernandinho, maybe even Delph at centre midfield, maybe even Gundogan. As he had some reassurances that he will be involved in the squad next year, that would be a bit absolutely huge thing for City to do, given the fact he's so young. But then you think that the likes of Mbappe, that we apparently bid about 30 million nearly two years ago for him when he was just breaking through. So we are obviously very much keen to get these young players before they become world stars. I'd be very surprised though if we actually give him a first team squad uh, place next season. But I guess we have to, so not go back on our promise if that's what we've sent to him. Maybe he could go out on loan as well. But surely he wouldn't leave PSG just to go out on loan somewhere else when he could have gone on loan when he was like PSG. A few people will say as well, is he not blocking the route of some academy players? Maybe City aren't quite happy with the defensive midfield options coming there. There are some good players. Jacob Davenport is a very good little midfielder. Matt Smith is a very tenacious box-to-box -box midfielder. But I suspect both will probably be on loan next season. Maybe City don't think they're quite ready yet to challenge at the level. And if this Claudio Gomez guy is as good as they say he is, then maybe he's one step above them at the moment. And I'm all for buying the most promising young players before they become absolute superstars and worth a hundred plus million pounds he'll be a basically a free other than a bit of compensation so there we have it that is Claudio Gomez I don't know loads of mine but he certainly looks very promising what do you think of this potential signing we'll see him next season if these rumors are true he does look like he's basically done though one of those youth transfers that kind of goes under the radar let me know in the comments what you think of this potential signing and I'll see you next time Thank you very much for watching another Esteem Company video. You're all absolute heroes. All these names scrolling down the side of the screen. Now, thanks very much for showing your support. It goes a very long way, more than you could possibly imagine. Guys, if you haven't already, get involved. Head over to patreon.com forward slash Esteem Company. If you can't, do not worry. I appreciate all your support, all your likes, comments, and shares. Thank you very much, guys, for supporting this channel. You're all absolute heroes, and I'll see you next time.